Mother's Day weekend, and mothers are very special. So are grandma. This is me with Grandma Bessie. This is Molly Winnie, my mother-in-law. This is my mother. This is great grandma uh, Julia, and this is grandma Elizabeth. These wonderful, wonderful women. I don't remember great uh, Julia because she died before I was even born. Well, today for Mother's Day, which is very common to take to church tea parties, mother-daughter events, is uh, tea sandwiches. And these are grandma's dish. These are grandma's dishes. I'll show it to you in a second. These are my great. These is this is Grandma Elizabeth's uh, fine shine. This is actually made in the early 1900s, over 100 years old. So we can't really put anything into it. These cats know this tuna fish. How do they know? We don't know. Missy. They're not stupid. So for today we're gonna make tea sandwiches. Tea sandwiches could be made with tuna fish, egg salad, crab meat, shrimp salad. We're doing the tuna fish first. Now I'm gonna add in a, a double of mayonnaise. Before I take care of Nala. Here you go. Look at them. My daughter was telling me they were all sleeping. I don't know where they came from. Don't forget Misty. Don't forget Misty. Misty Bear gets tuna fish also. No, I'm not touching it. How do they know? I would never know. But all right. So we're going to make the tuna fish and the egg salad tea sandwiches today for Mom's for Mother's Day, which is a very common thing you do for church uh, 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 brunches, you know, mother-daughter things, tea parties. You can mix this together. You want it to be really good. Watch the mayonnaise intake because you have very tiny sandwiches, folks. Now, the next thing I want to do is I'm going to add my salt. This is absolutely perfect for Mother's Day. Mix this together. Now, the next thing I have to do, you want it to look like this, very dainty. So a very dainty cookie, that's what Mother's Day is. Cut the crust off your bread. Yeah, I think about my mom all the time this time of year. It's very hard. But on the other hand, I have kids and they, you know, always give me a nice, very beautiful Mother's Day. You want it to be very delicate looking. There we go. Make sure everything is off, all crust or off. Perfect. Now, the next thing I have to do, folks, if you have a toothpick, great. If you don't, it's not a big deal. Let me wash the spoon, and we're going to go to the next step. We want to make sure the tuna fish is off the spoon before I go to the egg salad. Now, if you have crab meat, you can also use crab meat when you make your tea sandwiches. A double of mayonnaise. Like I said, Grandma's China is over 100 years old. I can't really, I'm afraid to touch it, folks, because I don't want to take a chance. Because it's so delicate, it can break in my hands. That's how delicate it is. It was made in the 1900s. I'm guessing her grandma, her mother-in-law, Grandma Julia, must have given it to her. Okay. Now, now I'm going to add my salt. And you're going to see my tea sandwiches come to life. Tuna fish, egg salad. You don't want to put a lot on, folks, because these are very small sandwiches, folks. You just want it to be very attractive. Now, if you have toothpicks, you could use a toothpick. Here you go. Very delicate. You don't want to have too much on here because it's such a small sandwich, folks. And here we have for Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day to my mom in heaven, Grandma Elizabeth in heaven. And my great-grandmothers in heaven. If it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be here today. From WH Home Country Kitchen, have a happy Mother's Day. And please subscribe to my wonderful YouTube, YouTube channel.